Hello, this is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. And one of the questions I'm often asked by buyers is, Joe, what do you think is the, the thing I should do? What's the best buy, uh, a foreclosure or a short sale? Uh, now, the blanket answer is easy. Well, whatever is the best deal, but that is something that's it's a little bit more detailed to it than that. So what I thought I would do is contrast the differences between a short sale and a foreclosure and see what sounds best to you. Now, in the case of a short sale, this is a workout between the owner and the lender. The owner still owns the property and the lender doesn't want it to go to foreclosure because they lose more money. Uh, and most of the time, the, the owner is still in the house, especially if it's an FHA or VA type, because they want them to maintain the property. And even if they're allowed to move, utilities still have to be on. In the case of a foreclosure, obviously they're out of the house. Uh, the condition of property is, you know, variable. Uh, it's empty, and so there's a difference there in what you're doing is going directly to the bank trying to get an offer accepted. Now, that is a big difference there because the way that you go about buying these is completely different. In the case of a short sale, there's only one offer that goes into the lender, and that offer is signed by the seller. We advise them what we think is best, and we send that one in. If it's not acceptable, uh, then they'll come back with a counter and you have the right to walk away from the contract. In the case of a foreclosure, uh, the issue is this. The issue is that uh, multiple offers are typically sent in to the lender. Uh, I've had somewhere 10, 20 offers have been sent in. Uh, usually there's a date by which you have to have an offer in. Sometimes they're like uh, with FHA foreclosures, they're set up as a, as a blind bid. You don't know what other people are bidding or, or how many people are bidding. And a lot of times you get caught in an auction mentality and the price goes way, way up. And so you have to be very, very careful about that. So in the case of a short sale, one contract per property in the case of a foreclosure, multiples. Now, when you walk into a short sale, and this is one I, uh, what I believe is one of the big advantages, you actually see the house being lived in. You see all the utilities being on. And so you can see if, the, if it's in the summer that the air conditioning is working and keeping things cool. If it's the winter, it's very, very hot. Are the lights being turned on? Is the water working? All of these things are, are much more apparent to you in terms of the quality of the house and the quality of the electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. In the case of a foreclosure, typically the utilities are all off. Uh, so you don't know what's working or what's not working. Matter of fact, very often it's your responsibility to pay for the utility turn-ons. And that can be a lot more expensive. And typically they also winterize the plumbing, which means that you have to pay for a plumber to come in to de-winterize it and then pay for them also to re-winterize it uh, after a contract. So there can be a real advantage to a short sale uh, in terms of, of that aspect of it. And usually that homeowner stays in that property until closing. Uh, and so from the point of view of a short sale, I really do, in my opinion, believe that it's the best thing that you can do in terms of buying a distressed property, getting a good deal on a house. Uh, if it's a foreclosure and it's a basket case, in other words, it needs a whole lot of repair, that may be actually the way to buy a foreclosure if you have the wherewithal to fix it up because it's not going to be as attractive at that point and you can maybe sometime, well, sometimes get the best deal if it really is a basket case. So there's differences between the two, but the where I come down on it, and I'll be happy to work with either way with you, and I do work on both sides of that, but in a short sale, you see the house being lived in, you know what's working, you have someone maintaining the property uh, up until the time of closing, and there can be real advantages there. On a foreclosure, if it's a smoking deal, hey, let's go for it. This is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values with the speed of technology.